Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to create this daily activity tracker in Excel. With this template, you will be able to list any number of activities, assign a priority to each one, leave notes for anything that needs more information, and finally, you will be able to mark which activities are planned, in work, or done. Also, as you update the status for each activity, the template calculates the numbers on top automatically. Plus, you have this progress bar to show you the overall status of everything. Alright, now that we know what we're building, let's go ahead and make it. By the way, if you don't want to spend the time creating this template yourself, you can find a link to it in the description. That said, let's begin with a blank Excel workbook. Now the first thing that you should do is set up the structure of the worksheet. Personally, I like to make the rows a little bigger and the font a little larger to make everything easier to read. So go ahead and select all the cells by clicking here. Then right click on the row headers, select row height, set the height to 20 and press enter. Then set the vertical alignment to middle, the horizontal alignment to left, and then increase the font size to 12. Finally, right click on the column headers, select column width, set the size to 15, and click OK. That does it for the structure, so let's go ahead and create the task table next. Start by selecting cell B6 and enter N O period. Then press tab and enter activity. Then tab and priority, tab and notes, tab and status. Awesome. Next, select the range B6 through F16, then go to insert, table. Check the box next to my table has headers and click OK. Great, now we need to style the table to make it easier to read. But before we do that, let's go ahead and turn off the grid lines. You do this by going to view, and uncheck the box next to grid lines. Awesome. This will make it easier to see and style the table. So now select a cell in the table and go to table design. Click this down arrow over here and select new table style. You can give your style a name if you want, then select the whole table element and click on format. Under the border tab, go ahead and select this light gray color for the border. Then click on the outline and inside buttons to apply that border. And finally click OK. Next select header row and then format. Under the font tab change the style to bold and then under the fill tab select this very light gray fill color and then click OK. That completes the table style so click on OK one more time. And now we need to apply it. So click on the down arrow right here, and your table style should be listed right here under custom. So just click on it to apply it. Great. The last thing that we need to do is give the table a name. So right here under table name, enter a meaningful name like activities and press enter. Nice. The table is now done. So let's go ahead and add in some dummy data. From here, we need to set up the priority column. The goal is to create a drop down list for this column to make it easier to assign a specific priority. So start by placing your mouse just above the table header until you see this little black down arrow and then click to select the entire column. With the column selected, go to data, then data validation. Now under allow, select list, then for the source, enter high, comma, medium, comma, low, then press OK. Now we can assign priorities to the various activities. From here, to make things easier to see, let's add in some conditional formatting that will automatically add color to the high and medium priorities. To do this, select the priority column again, then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select format only cells that contain, then change this to equal to, and in the box next to it, type in high. From here, 
click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select the color that you want for the high priority items. I like red for this one, so I select a light red fill color, and then click OK. Click OK one more time, and all high priority items get the selected fill color. Let's add another color for the medium priority next. Go ahead and select the priority column again, and go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Format Only Cells That Contain, then change this to Equal To, and in the box next to it, type in Medium. From here, click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select the color that you want for the medium priority items. I like blue for this one, so I'll go ahead and select a light blue, and then click OK, and OK again. Now all medium priority items have the selected fill color. At this point, let's shift our focus to the status column. Here, we want another drop-down list to make it easy to assign the status, and we also want to add some conditional formatting as well. But before we add these things, let's go ahead and list out the different status values that will go in this drop-down list. So select cell B2 and enter in the status of planned. Then press Enter and add in work. Then Enter and type in done. These will be the three status values for the drop-down list in the status column. And to create this list, go ahead and select the status column of the table and go to Data, Data Validation. Under Allow, select List. And then for the source, just select the range B2 through B4 with your mouse. You can then click OK. All right. Now that we have a drop-down list for the status column, we can go ahead and enter in some status values. Now from here, let's add the conditional formatting. So to start, select the status column, then go to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Format Cells That Contain, change this to Equal To, and in the box next to it, select the value in cell B3. Then click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select this light yellow color or a color of your choice. Then click OK, and then OK. Now all of the in-work items have the selected fill color. Let's add one more rule for the done items. Select the Status column, and go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Select Format Cells That Contain, change this to Equal To, and for the box next to it, select the value in cell B4. Then, click on Format, and under the Fill tab, select this light green color or a color of your choice. Then click OK, and then OK. Now, all of the done items have the selected fill color. That completes the task table, so let's now create our summary metrics for each status above the table. Let's first add a little formatting to make everything look nice. So go ahead and select B2 through C4, and then click the down arrow next to the Borders button and select More Borders. For the border color, select this light gray, then click on the Outline and Inside buttons to apply it, and finally click OK. Next, select B2 through B4, bold the text, and apply a light gray fill color. Awesome. For the last bit of formatting, select C2 through C4, center the text horizontally, and change the font color to blue. I like to make these blue because it reminds me that the numbers here are calculated instead of typed in values. Speaking of calculations, it's time to write some formulas. So, starting with cell C2, enter the following formula equals, count if function, then select the status column of the table, add a comma, and select cell B2. Now, just close parentheses and press enter. This completes the first formula, and what's awesome is that we can just use the fill handle to copy the formula down for the other two statuses. Okay, at this point, Let's adjust some of the column widths to give ourselves more room to work with. So, starting with column A, adjust the column width to around 5. 
Then for column B, adjust the column width to around 10. And finally, for columns C and E, adjust the column width to around 30 or so. Awesome. Now we just need to add in the progress bar on the top of the table. And to do this, go ahead and select the range B2 through C4. Then go to insert and under bar or column charts, select the 100% stacked bar option. From here, right click on the chart and click on select data. Then click the switch row column button and finally, select the planned series and click the down arrow to move it to the bottom. Then click on done and click the up arrow to move it to the top. You can then click OK. From here, right click on the bar and select format data series. Now in the panel on the right, change this to the done series. Then click the bars icon and change the gap width to zero. Next, click on the paint bucket icon and under fill, select solid fill. Then select the color green or a color of your choice. Next, change the series to in work and under fill, select solid fill and pick a light yellow or a color of your choice. Finally, change the series to planned and under fill, select solid fill and select a light gray or another color that you like. You can now close the panel on the right and looking back at the chart, select the title and then press delete on your keyboard. Then you can delete the vertical axis label and you can also delete the horizontal axis labels as well. Next, click on the format tab in the ribbon and go to align, snap to grid. This little setting will make it easier to align the chart with the cells. So now you can move the chart up above the table and adjust the size to make it fit. Then once you have it all aligned, look under the format tab again and add a light gray shape fill color. And maybe adjust the shape outline color as well. And with that, you are now finished with your daily activity tracker in Excel. Now you can expand the table to add new tasks by clicking on the corner and dragging. And if you want more than just one task table, you can right click on the sheet tab, select move or copy, move to end, check create a copy and click OK. Now you'll be able to organize and track all of your daily tasks right in Excel. Thanks for sticking with me to build this whole thing from scratch, and I hope you had fun and learned a thing or two along the way. Leave me a comment and click that subscribe button if you got some value out of this video. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.